Thank you so much for joining us today. We're gonna to walk through a quick tutorial of using the Television Explorer to keyword search more than a decade of television news. The TV Explorer is a collaboration with the Internet Archive's Television News Archive to allow journalists, researchers, and even ordinary citizens perform advanced analytics on the archive's collection of more than two million television shows from over 150 stations, some dating all the way back to 2009. So with that, let's get started. Go to HTTPS summary.gdeltproject.org. Now you'll be redirected to GDELT summary. Now by default, you'll land on the online news summary. Now this is the equivalent of the Television Explorer, but for worldwide online news coverage in 65 languages. And we'll come back to that in a different session. So for now, go here to the data set, step one, and select Television News Internet Archive and the page will refresh with the Television Explorer. Now, let's say, obviously, with the COVID-19 pandemic right now, let's say you're interested in seeing news coverage of the COVID-19 pandemic on television news. So scroll down here to keywords, and let's just type in COVID. Now, you don't have to type in COVID-19 because the way the Television Explorer works hyphenated words will be split into two different words. And so in this particular case, by searching for COVID, we get both COVID and COVID-19. But most importantly, if say a commentator on television news just references COVID, we'll capture that. So we type that in, we'll scroll down here to the bottom and we'll just say create summary. Now in a second or so, will be transferred to this page, our search results. And we scroll down. Now, the first thing we see here is a volume timeline. Now, by default, it gives us by month from June 2009 all the way to present, how much coverage our keywords returned. Now, by default, this is percentage of airtime. So what this does is this actually divides up the uh, total broadcast airtime for each station each day into 15 second blocks and counts up how many of those mention our keyword and reports that as a percentage of airtime. So if I look here, for example, this tells me that in April, 4% of the total airtime on Fox News mentioned my keyword. Now this is, now seeing things as a percentage of airtime is oftentimes more interesting than seeing it as a, as a raw count, you know, how many times was it mentioned? Because it really drives, it really drives essentially forward just how much attention topics are getting. So here, obviously, we can see that COVID obviously doesn't get any real mentions until the beginning of this year. So let's scroll back up here to the top and we're going to click on modify search. And that'll take us back to the page we're on. Now let's scroll down here to time period. By default, it searches the past decade. So let's change that to, we can do different options, but let's change it to a custom date range. So we're going to to go into the start date and let's just type in 1 2020 so start of this year and then we'll go down create our summary again and now this time we can see how uh, we now it's it's actually automatically switched to by day and we can see how uh, from the start of this year there's no mentions of covid until if we look here about the 11th of february so february 11th it starts it goes up, up, up. It really starts taking off around March 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and it goes up, up, up. And then it kind of levels off around April 4th or so. Kind of continues stable. We can also see in the early days, Fox News covered it a lot more than uh, CNN and MSNBC. And then we can see here, it just drops off a cliff uh, starting on about April or uh, May 29th. Now, of course, that was the start of the George Floyd, George Floyd protests. So we can see it bottoms off. But then what's interesting is we can start it, it starts rising pretty rapidly uh, after that. And we can see that uh, obviously in the last few days, it's, it's really started going upwards. And if we scroll down, it also shows us how often it appears on online news. So if your search is limited to 2017 to present, you'll also be able to see how well, it, how, how much attention your topic's getting in online news, which can be interesting. 
Now we scroll a little bit further down, it shows us the breakdown by station. So we can see that Fox News is covering it a little bit more than CNN and MSNBC, uh, but not a, a huge amount. We can see what shows are, are covering it the most. So we can see the top 10 shows mentioning it. We can see a word cloud here of the different words that are appearing. And then we can come down here and we can see different clips that are mentioning uh, it. So um, in this particular case, the top 50 clips, and we can see references of doctors and personalities and governors. Uh, now let's go back up here. Uh, because if we look at this, we'd say, well, you know, I, I could have sworn that uh, it was actually getting more attention uh, before, uh, before February. So let's go back up here to modify search. And we come down and we say, well, remember, COVID is the official name. But before that, it was known simply as coronavirus. So what we want to do here is we're going to put a parenthesis here and we're going to use a Boolean or. Now, the Television Explorer does not support really anything other than the simple or. It doesn't support all those fancy Booleans you see elsewhere. Just an or statement. So let's come in here and say COVID or coronavirus or simply virus. Since, may, well, obviously, if you're looking further back, virus would return everything from Ebola on out. But in the context of this, you know, in the past, you know, this year, virus is basically just going to return COVID coverage. And to use the Boolean or, you have to put in parentheses. So again, we'll come down here. We'll hit create summary. Now we can see coverage starts a lot earlier because in this early period, we can see it really starts appearing pretty much about January 18th or so. And this whole period here we can see is really when it was called just coronavirus. We can start seeing virus. And then we can see, obviously, it just picks right up. We can see this period uh, where it's pretty level. And you can start, you can see it, that coverage start kind of leveling off in May, drop back down during the George Floyd protests, and then it's been rising steadily. But what's interesting here is this dichotomy right here where we can see CNN is covering it, is, is rising the quickest. MSNBC is rising, not as quickly as CNN and Fox is rising much more slowly. And uh, if we come down here, we can see that if we add in coronavirus and virus, CNN obviously covering it the most. Again, we can see the station breakdown here. Now, let's say, for example, that, uh, you know, what if we want to do more complex querying? So let's say, for example, I wanna narrow this down to say uh, masks. I wanna look at the discussion about masks. So the Television Explorer does not automatically stem your words. So if you want to look at the plural of something, you have to actually type that in. So let's say I'm interested in masks. I'll go in and I'll say mask or masks, plural. Uh, but let's, let's add in N95s uh, as well. So we have that in here. And again, we'll do our search here. When we come back here, we can see that masks really start off in late February. We can see this big rise in March and April kind of dies off. And now we can see, now this is really interesting here. We can see in, in uh, late June here, we can see CNN mentions of masks are skyrocketing. Mentions on MSNBC have kind of leveled off and, ma and mentions on Fox News are actually going downward. And this is actually really interesting. You can see as CNN is really emphasizing masks, Fox News is actually doing the opposite there. Uh, now, and let's scroll down, let's see, uh, we can see obviously CNN, we can see, um, you know, not too much of a, not too much of a, of a breakdown on shows, kind of what we'd expect, but let's come in here and actually let's look for a phrase that President Trump has made popular, Kung Flu, uh, this term. Uh, so obviously that's a term he's, he's been a uh, widely criticized term that he's been using to refer to it. And we can see really this term, it really sort of pops out of nowhere uh, on June 21. Now we come down here, we can see CNN is using it more than anyone else. But now this is interesting. We can see that the two shows on CNN are Anderson Cooper and Don Lemon. So we can see it's, it's really personality driven shows. Uh, we can see Brian Williams, Kumo, uh, Aaron Burnett, then we can see that, you know, the actual newsroom shows are way down here. So it's, it, this term is really getting most of his attention on these personality driven shows. Uh, and of course, we can, you know, see those personalities here. Now, what's interesting here is let's say I want to know what he's actually saying here. So let's say I'm interested in this. I can actually click on this clip and it will launch me directly to the to the television news archives website um, to that clip where I can actually then play that clip and actually hear it. And so I can actually then watch the clip and see it in context here. Now, let's go back to this. 
Now, here's a more complex example. Let's say I'm interested in, say, respiratory. So I come in here, and let's say I want to see any mentions of respiratory. And we can see, obviously, a lot of mentions here. Now let's scroll down. And we can see most of this looks, uh, you know, pretty reasonable here. Uh, but let's say, for example, that I see some, I see, uh, some advertisements here. Uh, so here's a particular ad, respiratory infection. Um, tell your doctor. Here's another one. Tell your doctor. Ads are pretty easy. If we look through here, you can pretty much tell us an ad because it says tell your doctor, for example. So let's go back up here to the top, modify search. Now you can also add in a negative sign. So let's add in a negative sign in front of a quote and say your doctor. And let's add in side effects too. We'll add in minus side effects. So what we've done here is what this search will do is it will find all of the clips that mention respiratory and then anything that does not mention your doctor or side effects. Uh, now, again, it's looking for all these keywords within a 15 second period. So essentially what this is doing is just finding every reference to respiratory uh, in uh, this year, given my current search, that does not have your doctor or side effects mentioned within 15 seconds of it. So again, let's run our search here. And if we look, we're going to see our timeline. Man, this actually looks a little bit different. We can see a rise and a kind of fall. We're not really talking about respiratory anymore. And if we scroll down here, we can see that most of those ads have, have disappeared now. We've done a pretty good job of pulling out. Probably there's still some ads somewhere, but we pulled out most of the ads here. So again, that ability to... Uh, so if we scroll up here, let's go back to do our query. Um, so essentially, if you, uh, for any keyword query, a keyword by itself can just be typed in. If, it, if you want a phrase, you have to put that in quotes. So if I just typed in, for example, uh, your doctor is going to look for the word your and doctor within 15 seconds of each other versus if I put it in quotes, now it has to be that exact phrase. And of course, you could put a minus in front of that to exclude it. Uh, you also have to put a quote around it if there's a dash in it. So for example, if I wanted COVID-19, I'd have to put it in quote marks like that. But now let's say I'm interested not in searching for a particular topic, but let's say I want to compare multiple topics. So let's come here under output type. Uh, by default, we did a summary, which is when we summarize our search coverage. But let's come down here to comparison visualization. So here, it looks very similar, but now we can compare up to four keywords. So let's say now I do my search COVID, oops, or coronavirus or virus. Then I'm going to search, compare that against Zika. Ebola, and let's do H1N1 for good measure. And we'll come down here. Now we're going to leave our time period to 2009 to present. Uh, combine the separate, what that does is it allows you to, um, for example, not break things out by stations. Normalize by raw. So this is where you say report as a percentage of airtime or report the raw number of counts. And you can do date resolution. You can automatically say you want day or week or monthly or year. You can do a time zone here if you want to report it in your time zone. You can smooth it. Um, and here, we're going to leave this as is. Hit our comparison here. And now what we get is we can see here, so blue is COVID. So we can see, obviously, unsurprisingly, actually, it's COVID or coronavirus or virus. So that's why we see this little peak uh, here. And we can see, wow, it's way up here. Uh, so we can see coronavirus, uh, you know, combined across CNN and Fox News and MSNBC, their combined airtime in April, 14% of the total airtime 24 hours a day during that month was about COVID. Now, if we look back here, the closest was Ebola, where it was about 8.7%. And if you look for Zika here, we can see Zika was this tiny half a percentage here. And H1N1 down here was about, again, a little under half a percent. So we can see that compared to all these other pandemics, COVID is, is just really giving us a huge amount of coverage here. So if we go back to modify search, again, if we wanted to see what the actual counts were, we could come down here and say raw and that'll give us the actual counts. So here we can see it's even more stark. 
we can see COVID was across the three stations, 56,000 mentions in that month to really show you just how much coverage this is getting. Thanks for joining us, and we hope you tune in next time.